Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday inside of Team of the Year. Today is a big day because we get new Team of the Year cards in packs today. Yes, that is correct. The three attacker items of Messi, Lewandowski, and Mbappe are enjoying their final few hours in packs before the Team of the Year midfielders will grace this game today as the new positional I guess, um, you know, positional is released. Positions are released out of the team of the year. And that is going to be our Jorginho, our Chelsea boys with Jorginho and N'Golo Kante along with KDB. So a Premier League midfield, of course, we already know the team of the year. We don't know all the stats yet. I know that Jorginho's card looks really saucy, uh, but I don't even know all the stats. I don't even know if those are leaked or not, but we will be seeing those today as a part of Sunday content in this game. And finally... The hero player pick that we all have been talking about. I thought EA was going to release it as a coin sink last week. Evidently, the hero player pick is coming today. On Sunday, a repeatable hero player pick. So we'll talk about that a little bit again. But I know a lot of you guys have been prepared for that. And I think some hero prices will react on the market today, of course, because of that. Other things to expect today, lightning rounds. Um, and we have some prime icon SBCs that we might be seeing as well. So we're going to talk about all of that today for what to expect today on Sunday in FIBA 22 and also take a look back at yesterday as again, EA dropped some pretty good content yesterday with the Lucas Paqueta SBC five-star skill move upgrade and the 81 times 11 pack that was part of the game. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to hit a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Now the cards that we're seeing today it's no surprise who we're getting, right? EA, of course, showed us the team. Now, what we don't exactly know are the stats. And I'm actually surprised that they haven't been tweeted out yet. And if they have, then maybe I've missed them. But all I know is that Jorginho's card looks really, really good. I mean, we could guess that he looked really good based off of the upgrade. I mean, 97 rated. He is one of the highest rated cards inside of the team of the year. Um, you know, and that means he's going to get a really big boost. I think it's key for Jorginho today that he gets that four-star skills, four-star weak foot. That would help him out tremendously in terms of becoming a usable FIFA item. But, I mean, regardless of whether he's four-star, four-star or not, the stats on this card, evidently, if, as he, if he's a 97, he's going to be insane. So look out for that card today. Of course, Conte is a card that a lot of people are excited for. Of course, Conte is just an absolute beast in this game at all times. And I mean, if you look at his second in form 92 rated, you're going to get a plus four on top of this card. So you're going to probably have mid to high 80s pace, 90 dribbling, mid 90s defense, low 90s physicality. Hopefully they boost that passing up a decent amount and shooting because Conte team of the years of years past have been absolutely incredible. And then Kevin KDB, Kevin De Bruyne is the last item today, 96 rated. So hopefully, I just I just hope that EA give him a big pace boost, right? We had the team of the year that last year had 84 pace. Um, I, I'm really hoping that they maybe give this year's KDB a little bit more. He's got 80 pace on his signature signings card already. I hope for like 87. I know it may, that might be a bit, you know, too much, but I would love for a really big boost on a KDB team of the year today in this game. So that's pretty hype, right? Three new brand new team of the year cards coming into packs. The attackers are going to be out of packs um, and they will not return to packs until probably Thursday or Friday, whenever the full team of the year is going to be released. But just like the attackers where we expect the mids today to be released for a two day time period from now Sunday until Tuesday, the midfielders would be in packs on this game. So a lot of people today, if they have saved up midfielder packs, might be going out and starting to rip a few of those on this game today. So, you know, a lot of people have been doing attacker packs, attacker packs, you know, some of those like the 81 times 11 that we had yesterday, a lot of people were opening those. Now you might see some people opening midfielder packs today. I'm very curious to see what the prices are like for the midfielders starting out of the gate today because I feel like yes there are people that are excited but it's not a promo Friday and you've got I'm sure the EA on Friday got a lot of people to open their saved packs so the supply for the Mbappe, Messi and Lewandowski probably came in a little bit extra hot right because a lot of people open saved packs I know there's going to be lightning rounds today I know there's going to be people that will open some packs but I feel like it's going to be less than it was on Friday so maybe your midfielders will be a little bit more expensive 
today. Not saying that they're going to be all like 5 million coins, but all I'm saying is that some of your midfielders like maybe KDB, Conte, and uh, Jorginho don't exactly get really low that first night, kind of like Mbappe, Messi, and Lewandowski did. You know, they might have kind of different market movements where they're slowly falling throughout the two days that are in packs. We'll have to see. That, of course, always depends on what content EA release. But just a quick word about team of the year attackers as well. Since these guys are going out of packs, you know, some people are going out and starting to buy some of these as they're afraid they will jump back up. Uh, you know, there's there's definitely a possibility that a couple of these cards could bounce back up in price in the coming um, in the coming days. Messi right now, I believe, is like four or five. I mean, it's not showing me the card yet. Four or five, nine five. He might have just jumped back up a little, a little bit in price um, as he's kind of getting rare again in the evening. Now they're still running the lightning rounds. Uh, but the search right now, EA really needs to add the quality filter for Team of the Year in here. It's getting really annoying. And it's not helping people on the game find cards because we can't find the cards. It's really, really hard to find the cards on the market unless you like compare price on the item. So hopefully they can fix that up. Um, but I'm really curious to see the price of these Team of the Year attackers if they will rebound a little bit. I feel like Mbappe, I mean, all three of them technically might bounce up a little bit. I think it depends a little bit on the midfielders today, of course. If the midfielders come out and Jorginho looks cracked, Conte looks cracked, and KDB looks really good, you might see some people sell a Messi, sell Lewandowski, or a Mbappe to go try out the brand new team of the year. So watch out for a little bit of that too. But I still think you'll see Messi, Mbappe, and Lewandowski just, you know, nudge up a little bit in price, right? Like I sold Mbappe yesterday. The one that I bought last night, we showed it on the video for 4.34. I was able to sell it for 4.77 for a nice chunk of change. That was a pretty good trade that we had yesterday. Um, that was a lot of fun too, right? It's, it's just, if it hits different to flip a 4 million coin card, make profit, and, you know, to trade with the best player in the game. It just feels good, right? So that was kind of nice. But, you know, Messi's probably not going to get to that 4.3 mil range. So if you're looking uh, to buy any of these team of the year attackers for like a longer time, time period for your team i would definitely hold off on these until the full team is in packs later on this next week so that's just kind of my thoughts on some of the team of the year prices on this game i'm really curious to see how the midfielders get dropped into packs today but speaking of the content today again on sunday that hero player pick is going to be a massive piece of content that a lot of people are looking for today because this is going to impact not just you know the upper echelon right the upper echelon what i mean by that is players that have millions of coins that can you know buy a team of the year player like these guys that are getting released but of course as not everybody in this game has that many coins and as a lot of people love repeatable slash gamble sbcs especially player picks we have a big time sbc with that hero player pick finally it is leaked to be dropping today on Sunday. So the, the questions start to arise again for some of these hero cards like Cordoba, like Ginola. These card prices have maintained pretty stable levels. Uh, Ginola is just over a million coins. I mean, think about all the packs that have been opened in the past three days now with all the lightning rounds and saved up packs and stuff like that. You know, Ginola was as low as like 980k on the PlayStation. He went all the way back up to like 1.05. I feel like there is some more panic selling, number one. And once the hero player pick arrives today, you're going to see some people sell this card. So if you have some heroes, I would be careful with them today because I do think that they could drop in price a little bit. All of them, especially your top tier cards, right? Um, I'm way off on Dean Natale's price. Is he like 270, 280? Dean Natale has rebounded back decently then. He's like 280, 290. So, you know. Di Natale at his lowest was like 250, 260. Ginola was 980. Cordoba has still been around 400. So I would watch all of these top tier heroes today because I think there is an opportunity at least for them to drop down in price because there's still going to be lightning rounds today. So they'll get supplied, but more of the panic selling um, will happen after people see that player pick. So just be careful with those. But I feel like there might be a buy window depending on how big the drops are on each of these cards. There's probably going to be a buy window for some of them in that uh, panic sell. Now, speaking of the player pick itself, people love player picks, right? We talked about in yesterday's video how much that icon player pick impacted SBC fodder, right? When that SBC went from 600,000 coins all the way back up to 720k of value because people went out and bought these higher tier fodders to go and do that SBC. Now, fodder is still up, right? Especially... After yesterday with the 81 times 11 SBC, you have 84s and 85s specifically 
have really gone up a lot in price. Take, take a look at this, right? 84s were 100 points on the index, spiked to 200, now back down to the 170 range because EA is still running lightning rounds like constantly. I, I think right now it's like 3 a.m. UK or 2 a.m. UK and they're still running lightning rounds on this game. Not that all the packs are being ripped and open, but people love lightning rounds and there, there's always people that are on FIFA opening packs with FIFA points and they have more incentive to do that when the lightning rounds are out because that just gives you the feeling that they're they're going to go away fast fear of missing out and if you have fever points you want to open those right so there's constant supply on this market right now for SBC fodder but there's also a lot of demand right and some of these fodder prices have gone back up now 83s are still decently low but how much would a hero player pick cost when we first talked about it earlier last week when we were expecting this SBC to drop then um, we kind of, you know, shouted the range of like 150k, even though with a lot of these heroes being less than like 100,000 coins, I believe there's only four heroes that are above 100,000 coins at this time on this game. A lot of them are like fodder, right? And sorry to keep switching back and forth and everything from, from the game to flipping, but you've got Cordoba, Abedi Pele, Ginola, and Di Natale as the only four heroes that are over 100,000 coins. Robbie Keane is 84K, Joe Cole 59, and a lot of other stuff is 50K and below, right? If, as you take a look at all, all, basically all of these cards. So this SBC can't be super duper expensive because yes, there's not that many heroes to choose from, but again, there's still, you know, not a really good shot of getting one of the insane cards of the top four that everybody would want to get. So since it is repeatable, it's probably going to be a bit overpriced because, you know, repeatable SBCs like the base icon player pick, we see a lot of this stuff be overpriced. So I would maybe, you know, venture to say that a hero player pick today might be around 150K. Again, I do think that is too expensive, but people are going to gamble for it because they could get Ginola, you know, they could get this sort of player. So I think that'll cause some market movement today, especially for a lot of people that maybe can't afford a brand new team of the year item that might be coming onto the market. So that's going to be a big point of interest today. Probably going to make some fodder go up a little bit, even higher. I'd keep an eye on your 86s actually. Now that I'm seeing these prices, 86s are up a little bit, but I think in the grand scheme of things, these cards were what, 10K at their absolute lowest? What do they do on Friday? Friday, they went down to 9.9, 10,000 coins. Yesterday, they were kind of slowly rising, peaked, and now they're back down. Maybe you look into 86s today because, you know, they could easily say like an 86 squad or... You know, maybe if it's like an 85 rated squad with an inform, you know, that might come in at around 100K. I don't really know, right? It's going to be really, we're going to be very curious to see how EA price a hero upgrade player pick SBC because there's so many options that are below 20K, but then you still have a, per, a couple expensive options that are over 300, 400,000 coins. So that's going to be a very interesting part of the market today, but undoubtedly, SBC fodder will be moving up because it's a repeatable pick. And again, with this market right now, people have coins. People have coins. That's why you're seeing a lot of prices continue to rise on this game. I'm just picking a random player off the top of my head. Van Dyke uh, headliners, right? There's even rumors of a flashback of um, Varan in this game. And this Van Dyke card is up 50K from where he was at his lowest, more than 50K. He's up like uh, almost, I, I got one at 650 on Friday. It was a little bit of a snipe. So he's got he's up like 80K in price from where he was. You take a look across this game, a lot of player prices just keep rising because people have coins from opening packs. So they also have fodder from opening packs to go do SBC. So that's going to probably influence more people to go out on the market today and do a hero uh, player pick repeatable, especially that will have a little bit of a draw to it. So Definitely watch out for that SBC today. Also, there is a leak for two more Prime Icon SBCs to be dropped today in the names of Dalgleish and Figo. So keep an eye if you are a Kenny Dalgleish fan. Keep an eye on this card. He has been down a lot, of course, because people expect the SBC. And, of course, Icons just keep dropping anyway. Um, because why Why would you use Icons in this game when there's so many other special cards that are just as good, if not better? Um, I think that's how people are viewing Icons in this game right now. Luis Figo is also supposed to get a Prime Icon SBC today. So all of that content today might just be what we get for a Sunday in FIFA Ultimate Team. Now, we've also been getting... And yesterday we had the first one. We had flash SBCs on Friday. And then yesterday we got the first 
Team of the Year Challenge SBC, which supposedly these are going to be like not flash SBCs anymore since it's available for two days, uh, but it's going to be a daily Team of the Year Challenge SBC coming out for the rest of Team of the Year. So daily pack SBCs, that's cool, right? And again, that's just EA putting some supply on the market and also getting people to go out and buy non-rare golds um, and silvers and whatever is needed for some of these SBCs with different requirements. Um, for doing these sorts of SBCs and getting EA to maybe move those markets a little bit on this game. So just watch out for another one of those today. The other outside shot we might have at a piece of content today on Sunday would be the 12th man vote. And I'm a little surprised that this has not dropped yet, but I think today could be our day. Either today or tomorrow, I would expect to see a 12th man vote. And evidently from the leaks earlier on, Mohamed Salah, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Kareem the Dream Benzema are the three players that will be nominated for the vote. So just to keep that out there, just wow, a bunch of second owner Salahs right here, all listed at 1.1. Who's panic selling their Salahs? My goodness. Um, anyways, um, so watch out for that vote today or tomorrow, sometime in the next few days, because if it is a vote, then of course, you know, EA has to have a little bit of time to put a player out to get a, a dynamic image to create the card. And of course, we'll probably have it leaked beforehand like everything else is these days. But that would that, that 12th man would probably be released on Thursday or Friday with the full team being put into packs. So I think that that would come very, very soon. So keep an eye out for that as well. That's kind of our content for today. Of course, I mentioned it earlier too, lightning rounds, right? They're definitely going to keep running the lightning rounds today. I would be shocked if they stopped at all. Uh, because they're running lightning rounds around the clock. Again, I, I said it's like 2 a.m. in UK time right now, and it, they're they're still running 50k packs. I think they run lightning rounds in the mornings now as well, like midday morning time. Um, so it, yeah, it's just lightning rounds around the clock. It's like winter wild cards and Black Friday. They're just pushing the packs because they know people are going to open them with these team of the year cards that are in packs. So that's kind of what I'm expecting today. Now, I know that was a lot and we talked about it for a lot, but there's a couple other things to look at on the market because yesterday was some pretty good SBC content, to be completely honest. Lucas Paqueta, which we knew was coming. Now, he got the actual moments uh, card, not a TOTS moments or a TOTS honorable mention. And sorry, not even TOTS team of the year. He had a TOTS card last year. That's where I'm thinking of. But they boosted this guy's skill moves to five star, and that's got a lot of market movements happening. Brazilian cards across this game are up because the price of this SBC is good, and people can't turn down a five star skiller that is almost hullet gang with incredible dribbling stats. And with League One being all the rage right now in this game with all of the links that so many people are using, especially with the Brazilian links, with Pato being out, the Kaká SBC is great value. We've had so many Brazil link hype SBCs or cards released in this game recently. This Paqueta is all the rage right now in FIFA. 6,100 upvotes on Footbin. Very, very in-demand card. I think it's the skill moves and the pretty solid boost that are doing this card, um, you know, getting it all hype right now inside of FIFA. So it is a really, really good looking card. And honestly, the, my favorite part about this SBC is that it's out for like another 12 days. So I'm going to probably end up crafting this through doing upgrade packs through the second half of team of the year. Since it's at a pretty low value, it's going to be decently easy to craft. And the best part about it is as well, is that the SBCs don't have that high of chemistry. Take a look, 60, 55, 50. So that means it is going to be very, very easy to craft. And that's a dub, right? So we like that. And I think I have nothing bad to say about this Paqueta card. If it doesn't suit you, suit your team, or you know you don't wanna do it, that's totally fine. But everything about this is a W for me. Nice boost, five-star skills is dope. The four-star weak foot would have been nice, but I'm not gonna complain. 80 defense would have been nice, but I'm not gonna complain. At this price point, it is a W. Now, yesterday, the SBC that probably got more people excited on the game was a Gamble SBC, the 81 plus attacker upgrade. Now, this, this actually expires uh, today. Now, I think we'll get a midfielder one as well because we've had, of course, the attacker, midfielder, and defender version of these all added to the code. I don't know if that 81 plus times 11 for midfielders would happen today, but I thought this SBC was great value as well. Coming in at, I believe, like 30,000 coins. I mean, if you think about this, you're getting 11 players, all 81 plus, and all from a specific range. It's, I did this SBC and I'm saving it for the full team to be in packs, especially if there's going to be some uh, team of the year honorable mentions involved, because I think that is for a gamble pack, right? A, a lot of the times gamble packs, like we were just talking about with the hero player pick and for the base, base mid player pick, 
they're so overpriced, right? They're so overpriced because EA know that people are just sucked into these, right? But 30,000 coins for 11 players, if you get like one walkout and a couple 84s or a couple 83s, you know, I know it's all attackers, so you may not be able to use all 11 in an SBC and get chemistry to, you know, do a squad of Paqueta or whatever. But for a Gamble Pack SBC, 30,000 coins is cheap as chips, especially right now in this game. And I know that fodder has gone up because of it. Like the 84s have gone up from 2,000 coins to like three, three and a half K. But I mean, I thought this was a major dub. You see 65% upvote. I think it should be even 80% upvote because even if you don't want to do it right now, um, yeah, I guess it's only out for, you know, the rest of today, but that's a really cheap gamble. And you'd be kind of stupid not to do it as, you know, the attacker is going to be out of packs. If you wanted to open it today, uh, you could, but saving it for the also full team in packs is not a bad shout. So I just think that was a really, I think it was a good gamble SBC. I don't know. Just the 11 player aspect of it would really, to me, I, I like getting a lot of players instead of a gamble pack. Instead of just doing like an 81 plus times three, you know, that costs you 10, 15,000 coins, right? Or an 83 plus times three that costs you about, you know, 20K. Now you're getting one for 10,000 coins more that gets you 11 players, instead of just you know three so i'm a fan of that that's a big gg in my opinion as well but again with the paqueta hype on the game yesterday a lot of brazilian cards have exploded on this game i bought all of these anthony's and i sold them too early actually he's over 120k at the moment but i bought all these at 100,000 coins a piece um because once i saw that card hit the market yesterday and hit the game i knew that a lot of Brazilian cards were going to be going up because that was a card a lot of people were going to plug and play in their weekend league squads and you know you know had to get some links to so Anthony's up at like 120 he was like 125 so that's why I say I sold a little bit too early but right now he's about 115 117 thousand coins you know uh, some other Brazilians that went up you know your simple green link to him would be Neymar Neymar was like 440 450 yesterday and he reached peaks uh, right now he's down a bit, but he reached peaks of like 480,000 coins. So that was a big dub. Some of your other out of packs, Brazilian cards, like Marquinhos, a lot of Marquinhos cards did really good yesterday. This, uh, road to the knockouts Marquinhos. Oh my gosh. 850 K for this card. Do I have one on my transfer targets? I know I watched one. Yeah. 789. And I mean, he was like 760, I believe earlier in the day, this Vinny went from 530 to like 580. Some of your Brazilian icons had pretty high spikes in price. Um, it looks like they're maybe back down a little bit. Like this Roberto Carlos was 1-2 for a short time period. This uh, Ronaldinho was over a mil for a short time period as well. So a lot of your Brazilian cards, as if you look on the popular page on Footbin, have moved a lot. Now, the flip side of this is, too, you had a lot of CDMs from League One drop. Genduzi, 305,000 coins. He is down. Um, the... Signature signings, Renato Sanchez is down as well. So just keep an eye out for some of those. Some of them have bounced back a little bit, but not a ton. And I think it's just because there's a lot of people doing this Paqueta card on this game of FIFA 22. So that's kind of what's happening today. Midfielders and packs, keep an eye on the attackers because there's probably going to be some more movements from that um, and those cards going out of packs. But it's a really great market to trade in right now, right? It's a really great market. So if you see panic selling today on any of these popular cards, Brazilian links, um, league one links, whatever it may be, just keep an eye on the market today with that hero player pick, because there might be some people that go and sell cards to do that SBC. And you'll still see some stuff bounce back as people have coins right now in this game. And you know, they'll go back out and buy some of the cards that were in their teams. Like this Carlos Alberto is up to 640 K that's up in price. So definitely keep an eye out on this market today for some of that, because there should be a little bit of panic. I think that also could bring a potential rebound in this game as well. So another little bit of a long video today. I apologize for the longer videos. There's just a lot to talk about right now in this game because it's team of the year and there's a lot going on. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.